Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, as we continue on our slightly reduced schedule due to visiting family out in California, uh, I did want to talk about this article, though, because it was very, uh, very interesting uh, reading behind the lines here a little bit. Uh, Mozilla doubles down on Firefox Deb package for Debian-based Linux distributions. So uh, basically what Mozilla is getting at, if you followed a lot of the discussion we've had, you'll know that Firefox was the very first package that Ubuntu pulled out of the repositories that even if you go into Ubuntu and type sudo apt install Firefox, <laughs> you do not actually get the repository versions. There isn't one. The Ubuntu repository version for Firefox downloads Snapd if it's not already installed and installs the Snap package for Firefox. This is that very underhanded behavior that caused a lot of people to go, what in the world are you doing, Ubuntu? I called this out very early on. This is the behavior that caused Linux Mint to block snaps from being installed by default unless you take active steps to allow snap to be installed. Well, apparently this is starting to cause problems downstream as more and more people rebel against snaps and some distributions do not want to run them and now Mozilla is in a difficult place because Ubuntu and downstream of Ubuntu people have been replacing Firefox with Snap which some people don't want and it's starting to uh, cause some issues downstream. And so Mozilla is now releasing its own official Deb package for Debian-based Linux distributions. Now, hilariously, they do say for Ubuntu and other Ubuntu variations. However, as we talked about in my latest Ubuntu video, you can't actually install Deb packages in Ubuntu anymore. <laughs> uh, you can with the package, of course, but you can't do it easily just by clicking on the Deb package. So in the brief summary, what happens here is Mozilla, uh, as they talk about in their latest blog post here, uh, Firefox Nightly News, they are creating a Deb package. Now, right now for the testing phase, it only applies to Mozilla's Nightly Firefox. And so with this, you can install the Nightly, which is the version. This is like the test version of Firefox. It's, it's coming on down the pipeline. You can install this and test this out as a Deb package. And, um, what the goal is, is down the road after a period of testing, they say down here is that these packages will become available on the beta release, the ESR release, and on the regular release branches of Firefox. So the good news is here is that for people that want to run Firefox on an Ubuntu based distribution, but do not want snaps, you will have an option directly from Mozilla to run these. Now they also do state that this is better than running the snaps because it's going to have a lot faster updates than even the snap package will. And apparently the snap package disables some of the hardening features. Well, that's interesting. And so over here, what we say is uh, it would appear Mozilla would need more time to work on the down. I got to get down to the spot here. Uh, for now, users of Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and other derivatives can install the Deb package for the nightly. Uh, Mozilla says the Firefox Deb packages are compatible with the same Debian and Ubuntu versions, <laughs> except good luck installing that Deb on Ubuntu, as their traditional binaries so that they can download from Firefox's official website. Switching to the apt repository allows Firefox to be installed and updated like any other application. In other words, we're bypassing how snaps are updated. Um, and it also says using the deb package over snap or the official binary package uh, allows other benefits like better performance due to advanced compiler-based optimizations, hardened binaries with all security flags enabled, access to the latest Firefox releases as fast as possible, and you won't have to create your own .desktop file anymore for those that that is important to.
Now, the other thing I'm going to mention, though, on that's all the positive stuff. On the negative side, this does mean that you're going to have Firefox exactly as Firefox wants you to install it, which means it, they're going to be prompting you to uh, for data collection stuff. You're going to be opted into all of their experiments unless you actively disable that type of stuff. You're getting basically the software directly from the manufacturer instead of curated through a repository of the distribution itself. I would say that uh, I would definitely take that over the snap version anytime as hardening Firefox is pretty easy. Uh, we do have Firefox hardening guides on our channel and uh, we'll probably do another update here sometime soon as more and more features come out that we might want to to limit, adjust, tweak or whatever else. So that being said, however, uh, this is a really good step as Ubuntu begins crippling repositories forcing people down snaps, the people who want to use a distribution downstream of Ubuntu are still going to have a non-stop version of Firefox without the repository uh, or without the maintainers of the particular distro having to move beyond the snap and make some extra curations. But it will look like having the the Deb uh, app repository installed. So, of course, this would apply to anything uh, Debian, Ubuntu uh, or anything uh, downstream of that. Uh, this would not obviously apply to your your arch branches or other branches that do not necessarily use Deb. Uh, like your fedoras and things like that, which I believe have other methodologies of getting the software. So with that, though, this was a, a neat little update I wanted to share. And uh, we will again, uh, we'll be back with uh, our regular schedule here. Uh, probably not next week, but the week after. With that, thank you for watching. And I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.